Goosey, goosey, here, go let it all sink in. Good. Okay, later. Whoa. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> You want to stick around for the rest of this video because we've got mouth-watering chiropractic adjustments for you today, full body, head to toe. We post every single day. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Let's get into it. Up next, we have Dr. Brent Binder. I actually like always am constantly trying to crack my back and my neck. Can you do it successfully? I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe probably not as good as you. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's, it's easier to, for someone else to do it, for sure. All right, so why do you want to crack your back and your neck? Um, honestly, I feel like a lot of the time I get, like, pinched nerves that give mm -hmm. me headaches. Okay, so the neck is the primary. Neck, like, I always, like, go to crack, like, I don't know, probably at the top of my vertebrae. Okay. In it between? cracks, like, yeah, between my shoulder blades, but okay. I always, like, push up to crack it myself. <laughs> do you ever get any pain that goes down your arms? Any numbness or tingling in your hands? Mm -mm. Okay, that's good. So, what was going on in high school? Were you like a stunt flyer? Cheerleader. Cheerleader, yeah. yeah. All right, so, okay, let's go back to the spine stuff. Any low back stuff ever? Because when I like lay on the ground, I always like put my legs over and turn to crack, which I think yeah. I crack my legs. Okay, first we start with a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. So, but you look pretty good, pretty straight up and down. Are your shoulders relaxed there? Think. A little relax. tension. Dude, you're strong. Your trap muscles are strong. <laughs> okay, pretty symmetrical here, thoracic lumbar. This is okay. And then this right scapular area. This is where it starts to like warm up a little bit. There's maybe like a little bit of a of a change in your curvature just from here to here. Mm -hmm. It's not like a scoliosis or anything like that. It's just a little bit flat right here. And this this happens um, sometimes from like having your shoulders forward. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna push into your spine a little bit harder. Okay. Okay. Tender here? Mm, I don't think. All right, let's see this. Turn to the left. I'm gonna push into your spine. Any tension, discomfort here? Oh, a little bit there. Mm -hmm. It moves, okay, let's go to this side here, good. This just feels like it's stuck <laughs> right there. All right, that's good. This is like right at the bra strap line, which is pretty common place to adjust with women. This is the SI joint here. Any tenderness, tension here? Yeah, that's kind of... Tender? Not great? Um, not as bad? Not as bad. This four left, anything here? That one's worse. Okay, lower left, upper right SI joint. Good, lumbar feels pretty good. This is the part that you crack. You've got this part cleared. Right about here, it starts to increase in tension, so we're definitely going to do a couple of adjustments from here to here. Okay, back together, open, close, open, close. Okay, good movement on the SI joint on both sides, so no external or internal rotation. All right, let's do this, go ahead and march in place. Okay, looking at your back musculature. Good, good. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and stand up nice and tall, let your arms relax. Okay, I'm gonna look at your glute fibers now. Okay. Uh, this helps measure your pelvis movement. So you're gonna feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings. Okay. I'm gonna slide up to the bottom of your glute fold. It looks actually pretty even from left to right, and then looking from the top, maybe slightly external rotated on the right side, but. Okay, uh, looking for a rib humping here, no curvatures to the left or right. Okay, good, go ahead and stand up. Uh, let's see what's happening up here. About this side on the right. A bit. More over here. Much more movement to that side. Yeah, I can feel it's like stuck on. Yeah, going this way. So left lateral flexion restricted. Okay, looking at the feet first. Heel strike mid stance and toe off all looks symmetrical from left to right. That's good. Come back this way. Good. I don't see any signs of pronation or supination. Stop right there. And then um, uh, spread your feet apart just a little bit. Maybe a little bit of a early bunion formation on the left. And then let me just look at your Achilles tendon. So the Achilles tendon is straight up and down for the most part. Maybe slight bowing on this right one actually. Mild pronation, but arches are intact. I don't see any head tilt and there's no translation, just the high right shoulder. So we'll check muscularly for that. 
There is a like a, a, swinging, a swinging kind of. It's like a figure eight. Yeah. It's it's cool. Okay, go go back and go to the other side. I think it has to do. Let's see. So it's like a, it's like a the the infinity sign. I'll figure it out. All right, go ahead and turn around the other way. I think it's because, like I said, you're. I think you're you're like relax your arms. The bone structure is very narrow, like in your spine, your central spine. So like, your your SI joint, your sacrum is very thin, very narrow. The thin sacrum here, and then a wider hip out here, and like then you just get into there this like rot rotation thing happening. Cool, that's yeah. cool. Not too bad? Mm-mm. the pressure, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit harder. Nice, gentle breathing. Okay, deep breath this time. Deep breath in through your nose and out. How's that? Oh. Good. Mm -hmm. It's tight up here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to push this a little tiny, tiny bit harder. Okay, right there. I felt that. Mm. Do that again. Deep breath in, all the way in, far as you can go. Go that out. Go let your back relax here. Oh. Wow. That was intense. Scooch just a little bit forward like this. That's good right there. Back as you blow it out. Good. Good. Shoulders, shoulders. Good. It's like an iron. I'm gonna stretch your shoulders up in this direction like that. I'm gonna bring your hips down like this. And then we're gonna push in that direction. I'm gonna bring this down loosey goosey here. Go let it all sink in. Good. Okay, okay deep breath in and out. Good, shoulders relaxed. There's more, hold on. Then you're back. Good. Good, right from there, good. Whoa. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> okay, ready? This is the important one. This mm -hmm. one right now. Good. Mmm. That's pretty good. <laughs> you didn't get all of it though. There's one more. Let me check. Four and five, good, here. Mm. Go let this relax. Man. How's this feel? Is this, is this stiff? Yeah. We connect these two places. We start looking from here. This feels pretty clear. Have you eaten anything yet today? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not, it's not, hasn't reached this point yet. This feels okay. Is this tender at all? Mm, I don't think. Not too bad. Okay, the pyloric sphincter here is two inches above the belly button. Now, this is more active right now. You're doing good. I know it's not comfortable. <laughs> You're doing good. Keep breathing. <laughs> oh, God. What was it? Very good. Oh, wait.
Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like a new person. <laughs> Flexibility there. Uh, we come back up. We come back up. Good. Good. This is still like, I can feel relaxed a little bit uh, from that last pop. Yeah. I feel like a feather. Which, wow. <laughs> Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. Okay. Uh, turn this way down on your back. And we're going to definitely check your low back the same way that you prefer, okay? Mm -hmm. now, do you feel how this is tight up here? Yeah. So we're going to do that first. Drop. Whoa. How did that feel? Good. <laughs> Tilt your chin down, let it ride up a little bit, let it relax again, come up. Got it. How was that one? Great. And come down towards me, a little bit more. Good. So the first one I'm going to do is here by hand, okay? Big breath in and blow it out. Got it. Big breath in and blow it out. That's fine. So I'm going to lift it to right about here. Is that okay? Yep. And I'm also going to lower it to the fifth lumbar, yep. to the lowest lumbar. So I'm going to lower it about five centimeters. Yep. Okay. Is that fine? Yep. Okay. So we're going to start here. I think we got them all now. Mm -hmm. The first time we did it, it was yeah. Mm -hmm. Lie on your side, facing me. We got a few today, though. Yeah. Does that feel nice? Does yeah. it feel relaxing? Uh huh. So now we're going to um, position. We're going to do a little bit more with the lower back and finish up on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Big one, right? Yeah. Come to the other side. And we're going to lift this shoulder up a little bit. Got it. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. Here today with Kelly G. Fit. You might recognize her from Instagram. <laughs> we're going to do something fun with Kelly today. We haven't done any YouTube video yet. We're going to show, we're always talking about muscle engagement from nerves controlling muscle. So we're going to show today a squat pre and post adjustment from my athletes out there watching. So yeah. Kelly, let's see, and I guess from your perspective, we've done this before, but not on YouTube. Yeah, let's. Let's do cool. it. Cool. All right. So let's see. So no engagement. Ooh, that feel, feel that. Okay. <laughs> and then a lot of engagement. So I'm seeing it travel to the left for the people watching out there. The hips shifting left and then centering out. You can rewind it, watch it again if you want. Engagement. Okay. So it's first right and then it shifts left. And I think that might be because I'm trying to engage so hard to, to correct it. So we're going to show an assessment to our spine and we can see neurologically how the spine alters the muscle engagement and we'll have her move again at the end so we can see the difference. So she's accustomed to getting adjusted and she knows the process for that most part there. So when we look at the feet, if you've been watching our videos, you know we look at leg length because it tells us more about the alignment of the hip bones. Left one short, when I bring it up, it goes long. Telling us that left hip bone is moved back and down. Um, first, there we go. See, she even knows what to well, do. Like, that yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know, this way, right? Yep, the right just arms? like that, yep. Okay. So I'm going to roll the whole body toward me, and then push here at the end. Good. And then face down one more time for me, please. Okay. 
and then right through here in her mid back the technical term for this it's stuck it's not moving so let's actually have you turn over onto your back and we'll get this a little different way if you know me out there you know i like analogies i used one on my instagram this morning it's like a rusted door hinge that's not moving. If it's stuck, we don't like it. I took a video literally of the door squeaking and then I sprayed WD-40 on it and then it didn't squeak. We're kind of doing the same thing. This is kind of like WD-40. Kelly's laughing at me. She thinks I'm weird. She knows. You have the same dad jokes as my dad. I love it. <laughs> dad joke strong. Right there. Big breath in. Let it all go. Good. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I felt like I couldn't take a deep breath yesterday while I was trying to like run. So that feels so much better. Good, oh, wow. I love it. So Kelly's cool because, well, a few reasons she's cool. One, a lot of she, reasons. Uh, <laughs> she maintains her spine, whether, so most of the time I think you're in here, you're not really in any pain. Today she was saying before, she's got little aches and pains, but a little push at the end. The first one was my finger. <laughs> I was like, wait, who popped? Like, wait a <laughs> there we go. And immediately that oh. upper trap. It released everything that was Let's pulling go. on the side of my head too, for whatever reason. And then we're gonna check the jaw also. You were mentioning some jaw tension. So yeah. let's see the jaw move actually slowly okay. open. Okay, and then close. Yeah. And then one more time slowly. Okay, and then close. I'm gonna point something out for the YouTubers and then we're gonna have you redo it one more time so they can okay. see it. The jaw should be like a couple of hinges that swing open. On the right side, it's stuck. So since it's not moving over here, it's shifting that way. There it goes right and then it levels out and I'm feeling the joint here on the right side and that's also where I'm feeling it. Yeah, right there, it gets stuck and then it opens up and it's moving fine. So we're actually gonna make a correction there on that right side. We've done it previously in the past, and I think. Only my right teeth touch too. I noticed when I was doing that, my right teeth touch before my left do. Mm -hmm. Today I'm gonna to use my hand to do it. So right there. So I'm gonna be right on that joint and then give it a push at the end. So I'm gonna have you slightly open. There. Oh, trippy. Now let's have you slowly open. Now it doesn't swing right. It's opening straight down and then at the end we still have that swing off to the left. And let me feel, so same thing as you move it there. So now it's moving correctly on this side also. It's the left side that's a little bit too mobile and we're gonna give some exercises for that. I'm gonna show that actually on camera so people can see. I think I've showed them before but I'm gonna show them again for anyone watching out there. So jutting your jaw to the side. And push, then push so like push forward and then out? No, straight off to the right. And then push against it with resistance and hold it there. And hold it there for about eight seconds. And then we're gonna do the same. And do you feel that on this left side especially mm -hmm. when you do that? Well, I feel like after we adjusted that, like something's just went and just like relaxed over here. So I feel yeah. like right now I'm so aware of this muscle. So something with what she just said too, a muscle will pull tight to try to make a correction on a joint when it's out of place. When we move it back into place, the muscle immediately relaxes. So that's what you're feeling there. Yeah. Hot now. Oh yeah. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. Same way. Okay. No brace. Okay. Yeah. Feels smooth. Yeah, it looks smooth. And then with a brace, we'll show one. It feels the same. <laughs> <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video guys and girls thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more